Hi, my name is Heather. I'm from Beaumont, Texas, and I came here in Germany to have back surgery with Dr. Bertignoli. <laughs> uh, I'm Charles. I'm her husband, uh, also from Beaumont. Kathy, her mom, from California. And uh, basically what happened to me is uh, about two years ago I got in an auto accident. I was healthy beforehand. Um, I used to work as a paramedic. Um, and it turns out in this accident I messed up um, the lowest disc in my spine, L5-S1. Um, I had a herniation with some uh, degenerative disc disease at that level. Um, for the last two years I've been living in constant pain. Um, I've had to give up my job and a lot of things that I used to joy, enjoy in life. Um, like for example, uh, I, I was a triathlete and I ran an Ironman distance race in 2004 and I really haven't been able to do any type of physical workout at all since then. My life has been really rough. Um, I also had some problems with uh, medical insurance and um, auto insurances and all that kind of stuff, getting my medical, um, my medical bills paid for. So I'm in quite a bit of debt <laughs> as a result of all of that. Um, but as time went on, I pretty much realized after going through physical therapy several times, I tried chiropractic treatments. Um, and I finally, I ended up on narcotic pain management because it was the only therapy that kept me functional during the day. And even though the narcotics kind of clouded my mind, I found that uh, even with, with the narcotics and, and the clouded mind, I had more focus on the pain medicine than I did when I was in pain and trying to do something. Um, I don't particularly like taking lots of medication, so I knew I needed to do something more definitive with, um, with my back, um, and that meant surgery. Um, so uh, first thing I did was go to my primary care doctor in the United States and uh, talk to him about my options, and he referred me to a neurosurgeon, and um, I met with him several different times, and we tried a series of epidural steroid injections. Um, I got probably two days of relief from those and that was all she wrote. <laughs> um, so then we started discussing surgical options and um, I consulted with probably at least five or six different surgeons in the United States and um, I got recommendations ranging from microdiscectomies to fusions to um, this new procedure called the artificial disc replacement. Um, and being that I had a medical background, I started to uh, research on the internet and at the school libraries and that kind of stuff for, you know, what the differences were between these procedures. And um, I really, really became interested in the artificial disc replacement um, because it, in theory, preserves your range of motion in your back. And I'm 29 years old and I was feeling like I was 85 and I don't want to limit my motion that much by having a fusion plus all of the complications that I discovered you may have. Now, granted, you know, with ADR surgery, you can still have complications, but in my humble opinion, with everybody that I spoke to and all of the research that I did on my own, I thought it, um, the ADR was best for me. Um, so from there, I started looking for people in the United States that did ADR surgeries. And I found several that actually offered to do them for me um, that I would have been comfortable with. But the problem was um, it's so new in the United States that um, my medical insurance company and many medical insurance companies don't pay for it yet. So they would have paid to have my back fused, but they would not pay for me to have an ADR. Um, and I was pretty sure that I wanted an ADR. So I got back online and um, I found a website um, for European Medical Tours, EMT, and um, I talked to Tim and uh, Tim actually hooked me up with uh, Dr. Bertignoli and uh, I sent all my records online um, over to Tim and he forwarded them to Dr. B uh, Dr. Bertignoli and they came back with a recommendation for um, artificial disc replacement. Um, 
then uh, once I came up with the money for the surgery, then um, we uh, told them to go ahead and schedule me. And so here I am. I arrived here in Germany probably just under a week ago and uh, spent two nights in a beautiful little town called Straubing. And then I was uh, took a cab up here to the hospital last Thursday, and um, which was the day before my surgery. Right now I am about three days post-op. And I've got to tell you that I never expected to feel this good this soon. I knew it was a major surgery and it was going to be hard and it was going to be painful. But I mean, even right now, all of the back pain that I used to have is completely gone. And to be quite honest with you, the, uh, the part of the surgery that was the most painful is the incision right here in my abdomen, which is pretty impressive, I think. Um, I've been up walking around and doing things. Um, I avoid lifting and bending and all of that kind of stuff, but I just feel like now, um, you know, I, there's finally hope in my life where I can maybe get back to doing some of the things that I used to really enjoy doing, like running, you know, marathons and triathlons, and I know it's way off in the future still, but uh, before this surgery, I never thought that it would ever be possible for me to go back and do those things that I really enjoyed before, so I'm really extremely happy with the outcome of this surgery, and I'm very thankful to Dr. Bernioli, his staff, and the hospital staff here in Bogan, because they have been the nicest, most caring and compassionate people that I think I've ever met in any medical setting, ever. Hi, this is Charles. I'm Heather's husband. I'm also a paramedic in the United States. And just hearing that she wanted to come to Germany for surgery was very, I don't know, it was just way outside the box from what I was used to. It kind of freaked me out a little bit until we started researching and realized how well they did with this here and how many patients they've seen. And it just seems like a very solid procedure. And uh, the hospital atmosphere is wonderful. I've never had an experience anything like it. The views are wonderful, the nurses are wonderful, the doctors are wonderful. They'll come in and they sit down and talk to you, and make sure every single question you've had is answered. I mean, the both of us felt so good about this after the first day when we were here and talked to the doctors that we didn't think there was anything we needed to worry about at all. Yeah. And then. When she got out of bed the very next day after surgery and was outside walking around, uh, we were all just super amazed and you know we kind of agree with her. She got her life back, so thank you. Well, as Heather's mom, um, of course, being very worried and concerned and and uh, just wanting her to get her life back. I mean, this this kid of mine who swam from Alcatraz to the shore, I mean, very, very athletic person, uh, very outgoing, um, and just to see how much pain she's been in for the last couple of years and how it's um, totally crushed her regular life. Um, there's days where she couldn't get out of bed. Um, there's been several days in a row where she couldn't be out of bed it's because of too much week. pain. Yeah, up to a week or so of pain. not being able to function at all. Um, she can't work, I mean, she, the, and being very depressed and just not having, having her be herself has been very painful to the mom and the rest of the family, of course, and to see her just get up and be pain-free, you know, in her back, I mean, surgically, she went through major surgery, and you can expect all of that, but to have all of the pain that she's been going through in her back totally gone comparatively even after major surgery when the trauma her back's gone through is just like a miracle as far as I'm concerned and I'm just so thankful that she's getting the relief and the opportunity to get her her life back yeah. um, it's amazing.